just as uh, we promised yesterday that we'll give you updates on the situation with the Kitty primaries, I am happy to report to you that we met last night to consider the report of the primary committee and we are able to take the following uh, decisions. Um, one of the, we reviewed the situation in the Kitty and we found it um, quite condemnable the action that happened, the disruption of the primary process, and uh, we, we therefore took the following decisions uh, in reaction to it. One, that all the identified agents that participated in the suspended primary election of 5th of May 20, 2018 are disqualified from participating in the rescheduled primaries as agent or in any other capacity in the rescheduled primaries all agents identified to have participated in the disruption of the primaries are disqualified from taking part in whatever capacity in the rescheduled primaries. Therefore, the following people are disqualified for act, uh, from acting as agent or in any other capacity from the primaries. Ayodeji Omowaye, Roti Mifaleye, Kayo De Afolabi, Oladele Ademola Samuel, Oyetunde Ojo, Akintade Olai Sade, and Temitope Adewumi. Two, all agents' tags will now bear the name of the aspirant they represent. If you look at the tags, they only identify them as agent. But in reaction to the incident that happened, the names of the, the tags of the agents will now carry the particular name of the aspirants that they are representing at the at the primary three all the agents will now not be able to go in with their mobile phones if you are going to serve as agents at the primary you will have to leave behind your mobile phone because we also know that the use of mobile phone uh, has been implicated in in mobilizing the kind of uh, the kind of activity that took place and disrupted the the primaries now, in regard to the roles played by security agents in the primaries, because we felt that the security agents could do a lot more than they actually did uh, at, the, at the primaries, in reaction to that, um, we have decided to mobilize uh, policemen from other states you know, to be part of the rescheduled primaries. Uh, in the previous one on the 5th of May, we relied solely on the police authorities within Ikiti State. But for the purpose of the scheduled primaries, we will now be uh, mobilizing police contingents from other states to provide security uh, for the election materials and for the individuals that will be participating in the primaries. Another issue that led to the disruption or that uh, have been alleged or identified as uh, leading to the disruption was um, the kind of support that individuals who have disability and who are unable to read uh, were getting from, from, from identified agents. Uh, we've now decided that subsequently in the rescheduled primary, an individual will be identified and will be agreed upon by all aspirants to provide such assistance to people with disability or an individual who is not able to read were also leaving their sitting positions and moving around the venue. In reaction to that, we've decided that aspirants will no longer be allowed to leave their respective sitting positions except with the permission of the committees. Because um, such, uh, such movement, such moving around the venue also creates um, undue interference and may likely endanger the process moving forward. So, um, seven, we also agreed that all aspirants will be held liable for the conduct of their agents. So agents will be held responsible for their actions, but having identified that they are representing a particular aspirant, such aspirants will also be held directly liable for any action taken by the, by the agent. Another issue that was raised was the order of names of the aspirants. Some people complain that the names in the way they were ordered does not represent the true name of the aspirants. For example, instead of saying John Chooks, you say Chooks John. 
And in reaction to that specific um, complaint, we have ordered that the names of the two aspirants involved should be reordered exactly the way it was reflected in the nomination forms. I think only two of them were were affected by this one, Ajayi Olatunji Olo and uh, Olubumi Kaode Ojo. These were the two aspirants uh, that were, uh, were affected. Perhaps more importantly is that the exercise of 5th of May is cancelled and a new um, primary, a fresh primary will be conducted this Friday 11th of May in the same uh, venue. And the primary will be conducted by the same committee led by His Excellency Governor Almakura of Nasarawa State. The only alteration to the composition of that committee is the secretary who will now be substituted by another uh, individual. Now, because we view seriously the disruption of the uh, original primaries of the 5th of May, um, we deliberated upon the, on the issue of discipline and what kind of punishment to met, meet out uh, to, um, to leverage on individuals that were part of the disruption. Uh, the initial, what our party constitution provides for is that where, a, where um, a, an aspirant has partaken in the disruption of an election process, such aspirants should be disqualified from further, further participation in the activity. However, in view of the controversies that have surrounded the, this particular primary, and because of the need to ensure fairness, we don't have time, we have to submit a name of the name of a candidate mm -hmm. to INEC by 14th of May. And you will agree that even where aspirants have been accused of being um, uh, involved, in disrupting the process, they will still need to be given a fair hearing. They will still need to be formally notified of the allegation against them, and they will need to be processed and given opportunity to defend themselves. We don't have such time, and at the same time, we don't want to be. We don't want to do anything that will be seen as uh, subverting the course of justice or being unfair to any aspirant. So we've allowed all aspirants to uh, participate in the rescheduled primary. However. In the aftermath of the primary, we will ensure that the relevant provision of the Constitution uh, is applied to any of the aspirants that may have um, been uh, complicit in the disruption of the primary of the 5th of May. So gentlemen, these are the key conclusions of the meeting we had on the issue of a kitty. So if you have any questions, you